In this video, I'm going to show you that how you can optimize your WordPress website for speed. So right here, you can see I have this website already created. I have checked this website on the GT metrics and these are the results that I have gotten. And for now, you can see that this website is taking around 3.4 seconds to load completely. And on GT metrics, they graded the website as D grade. So we need to fix this website. Before we jump into this video, I want to tell you about some of the best practices about how you can optimize your website. So there are actually five di different steps that you will have to consider whenever you want to optimize your website or your client's website for the speed. And the very first step is that delete all unnecessary plugins and for that what you will have to do is to go to your wordpress dashboard and from there you can go to your plugins and once you will go inside your plugins right here you will have to check whether you are using any unnecessary plugins so this is the plugin that i am seeing is not useful anymore so i will simply deactivate this plugin and after that I will delete this plugin. Make sure you remove any unnecessary plugins that are not required for your website. The second step that you will have to consider is that do not use multiple plugins in order to create the same functionality. So for example, if you are someone who likes to use the page builders like I am, so I generally use Elementor page builder and sometimes I use some other page builders but right there on this website I am using Elementor page builder. So sometimes what people do is that they choose to install the Elementor page builder along with some other page builders just like Divi or WP Bakery. So in that case, we will have to actually get rid of any unnecessary page builders or any unnecessary plugins that are not required. And that will drastically reduce the page load time. So that is another thing that you will have to consider. The third thing is that do not use any heavy plugins. So try to avoid plugins that are very heavy for your WordPress website. Number four is that don't use multiple image compression plugins. So right here you can see I do not have any Im image compression plugin installed and this website is completely non-optimized so far. So I'll just walk you through that how you can optimize your images. But sometime what people do is that so there is a plugin for image optimization that is called Smush. So if I go to this plugins and if I click on this add new and here if I search for image compression you will see that we'll have a lot of many plugins out, out there available offering same kind of functionality. So generally people install a couple of plugins or more than three plugins just to perform one single task. You have to avoid that thing. You have to rely on only one plugin to perform one task and that is the key if you want to optimize your website for the speed. Next up, what you will have to do is to set up an image, uh, sorry, the website optimization plugin. And in this video, we are going to look at a free plugin that is called W3 Total Cache. And I will walk you through that, how you can set up that plugin so that you will get the maximum speed optimized on your website. So if you are interested in learning that how you can optimize your own website, then without further ado, let's get started now. So the first thing that you will have to do right here is to log into your WordPress dashboard. And from here, what you will have to do is to go to these plugins. Make sure you follow all of those things that I just mentioned. And I am resuming this process right after those things that I mentioned. Those are some of the best practices. So for now, we'll start by optimizing our images on the website. So I'll click on this add new button right here and I'll search for image optimizer or image compression. This is the plugin that we want to use. This is called Smush and this plugin has one plus million active installation and this plugin is updated recently just two weeks ago so simply click on this install now button and once you will click on this install now button click on activate and once you will activate this plugin this plugin will get activated right here from here what you will have to do is to click on this settings option here and once you will click on this settings this is how a screen will pop up and from this screen make sure you follow what i am doing here 
make sure you choose click on begin setup and from here make sure you enable this automatically optimized new uploads and then click on this next button and then make sure you click enable super cache and then make sure you click next here and if you want you can enable lazy loading and if you don't want you can disable it that is completely your choice anyways we are going to do that with the w3 total cache plugin so i'll disable it from here and then i'll click on finish setup wizard and then from here you will have to wait until it detects how many images you have on your website so we'll just have to wait and right here you can see it says scanning media library so here you can see my media library has 215 images and we want to smush those images or compress those images and here you can see for because we are using the free plugin so we are only allowed to compress up to 50 images at one time so we'll have to actually redo this process to compress all of these images so the process is that you will have to click on this bulk smash button here and once you will click on this bulk smash button here you will see these stats and these will identify the number of images that are already being compressed so this may take some time and you can just wait and see how long will it take and it is already smashing all of these images so i am just going to pause this video until all of those images will get compressed so right here you can see that 50 out of 215 images are optimized and here you can see that the process is for now stopped so in order to return this process simply click on this resume button and once you will click on this resume button the process will again start optimizing the images all right here you can see that all the attachments have been smushed that means all the images are compressed now so next up what we can do is to actually start installing our cache plugin to optimize the speed of our website for that what you will have to do is to go to plugins section again and from here click on this add new button and then from here search for w3 total cache or cache whatever you want to pronounce it so this is the plugin that we actually want to install and this plugin also have 1 million plus active installation and this plugin is also updated recently like four weeks ago so you can simply click on this install now button and you will have to wait until this plugin will get installed and here you can see this plugin is installed now simply click on this activate button and once you will click on this activate button this plugin will get activated on your wordpress dashboard now here you will see this option you have multiple wordpress image optimization plugins installed so simply click on this dismiss button right here don't worry about this from here simply click on this settings and once you will click on this settings this page will be appear like this from here first click on this accept and then right here click on this next button I'm not going in details like what options are responsible for what things but you can simply follow the steps that I am doing and you can simply apply the settings that I am applying on my website so for now this is the page cache so simply click on test page cache and this will automatically test the page cache for you and you will have to wait until it will perform it its test so this plugins perform these test based on different parameters and it gives you the results that which test is more appropriate for your website so for my website this disk enhanced reduced the load speed by 90.17% so I'm going to choose this disk enhanced and then I'm going to click on next and for now I wanna this is the database cache so I'll click on test database database cache and we'll have to wait and here you can see this time if I will choose disk it will actually adds into the page load time and it is not going to reduce it so I'm not going to choose this disk option here I'm going to choose this none option at this stage for the database cache but if in your case this value is in negative you will have to choose this option from there and if any of other these option available you can choose those options then click on this next button and from here we'll have to test the object cache so you can see 
I didn't get the negative value for the object cache as well. So I'm going to choose none for this option as well. And then I'll click next here. And now this time we have this browser cache. So you might be familiar with the browser cache and that is whenever you enter any URL in your browser, first time it takes a lot of time, but next time when you visit the same website, it's just load instantly. That is because of the browser cache. And for any reason, you will have to enable this and then click next. And now this is the image optimization. We already have optimized our images, so I'm going to skip this. And then we have this lazy load images and I'm going to lazy load these images from here. And now I'll click next and now you can click on this dashboard. That was a quick setup. And once you'll click on dash dashboard, you will be redirected to the dashboard of this plugin. So remember that we are using the free plugin and here you can see it is asking us if we want to upgrade to the pro. And we do not want to upgrade to the pro version. We are comfortable with the free version for now. So here you can click on this general settings. And once you click on this general settings, all of these options will appear. You can reach to all of these options by simply clicking one of these items and it will take you to the same place where we are. So don't worry about this, simply click on this general settings. And right here we are in the general setting and here you can see our page cache is already enabled. And this is disk enhanced. Remember the option we chose for the page cache. Next up, we have this minify option. So for the minify option, make sure you enable this minify. It will give you this prompt that this minification can be problematic for your website. So you have to understand this risk. Don't worry about this. Generally, this doesn't break your site, but if in any cases you, s you feel like something breaks on your site, you can always deactivate this. So for now, I'll click on this, I understand the risk. And for now, the minify mode, I'll make it auto and for the minify cache method, I'll choose disk. If any of these good options will available for you, make sure you choose them. But for me, I only have this disk option available. So I'll choose disk from here and then make sure you choose default here. You don't need to do anything there. Next up, we have OP code cache. You can read about these things here. They provided a good details about all of these options. So for the OP code, cache uh, I already have this option and this is already enabled so I'll keep this enabled for the database cache we don't want to enable this option as it was no, not appropriate in the test same thing for the object cache and same thing for browser cache for the browser cache we already enabled this so you don't have to worry about this and next up we have this CDN option if you have any CDN you can integrate those CDNs but in my case I'm not going to integrate those CDNs here CDNs are also a very good way to optimize your page speed or the website speed but they are not free you will have to pay for the year subscription so I'm not going to integrate any CDN here then there is some option for the reverse proxy and if you want you can enable the reverse proxy as well next up we have user experience option i already enabled the lazy load images you can also disable images and you can is disable wp embed, embed scripts and you can disable jquery migrate on front end and that is all you will have to do on this page nothing else you will have to do here and once you are good simply click on this save settings and once you click on the save settings all of these things that we have done right now will be saved on our website you can see that the page speed is drastically improved now and the last thing that i want to do here is to simply click on empty all cache and once you will click on empty all cache this will remove all the cache that has been stored on your website now let's refresh our website here just once to just see that if how our website is responding now. So from here, once again, I want to purge all the cache. So I'll click on purge cache so that it can purge all the cache. Now that we have set it up our plugin and we have optimized all of these images that I have on the website. Next step you can do is to go back to the GT metrics and here are the previous results that I got. You can click on this retest button and you will have to wait until GT Matrix will perform its test. You have to understand that these tests are also dependent upon the internet connection that you have. So if you have a really good connection, these tests 
will come just fine but if you are using a slow connection your results will not look good so you will have to consider this as well so right here you can see these are the updated test results that we have gotten and now the website is loading in about 1.2 second so by using the same settings that I have used you can also optimize your website there is one last thing that I actually want to mention you about this tutorial and that is speed optimization is actually a step by step process and it is a continuous process as well so you will actually have to keep checking your speed maybe once in a week or twice in a week and if you need any modification you can keep making those changes in order to keep your website optimized for the speed i hope you have learned something new from this video if you have learned something new from this video make sure to hit the subscribe button and be sure to hit the bell icon to get the latest video updates thank you very much i'll see you in the next video